Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And this video is an introduction to the immersive technology steam turbine. Now, this steam turbine is the core of the power production of the thermal power plant that we are making right now. And it is pretty efficient, actually 300 times more efficient than any HBM turbine. So in this video, we are going to compare these two, see the pros and cons of using the immersive technology turbine and also go over some neutral points. And finally, I can hopefully convince you to use this turbine if you are playing survival with HBM's mod. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. First, let's take a look on how to make the steam turbine in the first place. And to do that, we are going to use a trusty engineer's manual. Now, under turbine power systems, there is going to be the steam turbine. So the steam turbine will be made in four stages like this. So it is going to be total four high. And as for the materials required, we are going to need three steel scaffoldings, six fluid pipes, one redstone engineering block, 24 heavy engineering blocks, four radiator blocks, 27 steel sheet metal blocks, and 10 blocks of steel. So yeah, that's all you are going to need in order to make this turbine. Now, as I have immersive petroleum installed, I'm going to use a projector to do this. Now with the redstone block facing you, shift right click using the projector. And by the way, this shift right clicking trick only works in creative and you will make the body of the turbine. Now in order to make the turbine itself, just right click with the engineer's hammer and there you have assembled your steam turbine. But the steam turbine itself is not enough to give you usable energy. In order to do that, we are going to need another component which is called the alternator. Now the alternator is made in three stages like this. And in order to make the alternator, the materials required are two heavy engineering blocks, eight generator blocks, four high voltage coil blocks, four radiator blocks, nine light engineering blocks, four steel sheet metal blocks, and finally two blocks of steel. Now with all of these materials, the alternator is can also be made using the projector like this and it is going to sit exactly in front of the turbine. Now the shaft is going to connect like this as you can see here. So the best way to do it is just right click like this with the light engineering blocks facing away from the turbine and once you right click the alternator will be formed. Now with this your entire steam turbine is assembled. Now let's go over the pros of using this turbine. Here we have the Leviathan steam turbine and as you can see the size of both of these turbines are nearly equal. Now the first pro or the main reason of using the immersive technology turbine is the amount of energy it gives you back for the same amount of steam you put in compared to HBM's turbine. In order to measure this I am going to make a simple energy monitoring system using energy control mod. Now the only difference is that for the immersive technology turbine you are going to need to place six RF to HE converters on each of the six points of the alternator. Now make sure that these are RF to HE converters and not HE to RF converters. That's one of the most common mistakes that people make. And once you have done that, the process will again be the same. So make two energy monitoring system, one for the HBM turbine and one for the immersive technology turbine. Once that is done, it's now time to power the turbines itself. So we are going to start with the immersive technology turbine and I'm going to use 512 buckets of steam for both of the turbines. And the ducts are from thermal expansion. Now as soon as I set the tank to output, steam will start going in the turbine and the shaft will start rotating. Now the shaft will slowly but steadily increase the RPM and as soon as the RPM will go up, so will the power production. So power production and RPM will go up simultaneously and power production by the way will cap out. Also you will notice that the turbine will now start making some noise. So the power production will cap out at 3072 HE per tax. And the turbine will constantly produce this amount of power as long as it is supplied with steam. Now this steam is gonna go down very slowly. So in the meantime, let's set up the HBM turbine and see how much power we get from 512 buckets of steam. There we go. And now even a Leviathan turbine has started producing power. Once the Leviathan turbine is done like this, we are going to get a total of 51,200 HE energy. So basically each bucket of steam gives us 100 or basically 100 HE energy. Now I'm going to speed this process up for the other turbine as well. 
so that we can get a ratio of the power produced and there we go now as soon as the steam runs out the rpm will start going down slowly so this turbine takes time to speed up and it also takes time to speed down now the rpm will come down and so will the power production and slowly it will get to zero now let's see the final numbers a leviathan turbine produced 51200 hg of power or energy and a immersive technology turbine gave us 15,267,516 hg energy if we take a ratio we get roughly 300 times more power from the immersive technology turbine now the second reason for using this is going to be how amazing it looks when it is in operation it is already a two-stage turbine and leviathan turbine also looks good but in my opinion this turbine looks way cooler than that so that's that and a third point is that by having immersive technology in your mod pack you will get access to the fluid crash can now the fluid crash can is a very useful device it can take in and nullify any fluid that you put inside it so with this fluid crash can you do not need to worry about the low pressure steam that all of the turbines are going to be producing you can simply just put them in the fluid crash can as water is already infinite now here are some neutral points the entire thing or immersive technology will have a learning curve as there are a lot of things included when you have this mod along with immersive engineering so yeah you will learn new things and another thing is that this turbine is not the cheapest to make now it is not very expensive but it is also not very cheap to make now here are some cons of using this turbine first things first this turbine is extremely slow so if you have a source or a steam producing source that produces a lot of steam you are gonna need to use multiple turbines now for example if i use a leviathan turbine and if i max out the fluid transfer capacity of the pipe you will see that it instantly produces an entire tank of steam now a second point is that this turbine produces noise like it has noisy operation and you can see the difference when you stand near the alternator or the turbine and third point is that you need to add a recipe for high pressure steam manually in order to convert this turbine into a two-stage turbine it can be done but you need to add the recipe manually which is a pain sometimes so i hope you guys like this video and i hope i convinced you guys that this turbine is actually good for survival and also for creative so peace out invincible